Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel and after my fight with the plan here it is my new huge project huge for me at least the Vickers Armstrong's Wellington 1C designed and drawn by Harold J. Towner as I mentioned here is the new project that I have it's uh, the Wellington the famous Wellington World War II RAF bomber from the first part of the of the war and uh, a balsa build as we can see here it's designed for either rubber or two O2O 2 motors I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet so we'll see how it's going to going to be going I see a lot of new challenges I think it's uh, similar in complexity to the Mosquito that took me took me a couple of months to build and a, and a lot of work but it was a lot of fun and as of now the Mosquito hasn't flown yet so Again, as of now, I'm not sure if this one I'm going to build for rubber powered with these propellers, those beautifully hand carved propellers that I'm not sure I can do, or if I'll do an RC conversion. I kind of would like to do an RC conversion, but that's going to depend also on how the how the mosquito test flights go. Here we see the plan, beautifully drawn and designed. I'm not sure from when it is. I suppose it's the 1940s or 1950s. Uh, when Harold Towner was actually designing all these, I put the link, of course, in the um, in the description, so you can also uh, go and do it. And uh, I'll now take you through some of the challenges that I see that are going to come up. So one of the evident challenges that's going to come up is going to be then the the turrets. These had a nose turret, had a glass cockpit also, and also a beautiful tail turret. And I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do those. That's going to be one challenge. Um, other challenges that, uh, that I'm going to see here is, uh, of course, then the, the engines. What kind of engine, what kind of motorization I'm going to put into this one. If it's going to be rubber powered as it's designed here or electric. I would like to do it electric, but, uh, but we're going to have to see how it goes. And uh, another challenge that I'm kind of looking forward to is going to be then the landing gear. Um, this one is evidently done to, to have a fixed landing gear. My dream somehow is to have a landing gear that I can put up and down manually. Somehow that I can lock it up for flight and then bring it down when I have it at home parked around that, it's, um, that it looks nice on its landing gear. So that's also one of the challenges that I look forward to. As you can see it's all balsa build. So it's going to be the, the, the typical construction of balsa and um, and, uh, and tissue covering. Um, the propellers, as I mentioned also, the, here they're designed to be three bladed hand carved propellers. Which is, uh, it looks very nice if, it, if I can actually make them happen. Which I'm not sure I would be able to. So we'll see how, how that goes. Other than that, the construction I believe is going to be similar to with the Mosquito, so I'm probably going to put down um, a main spar of basic stringers. I think these are the basic stringers, yeah, here are the basic stringers. I'm going to design those, put them down, and then build up on those. I see also the, the wing spar, it's going to be also like one big wing spar. In that again, it's similar to the Mosquito, and, uh, and then it's going to grow up somehow the top half is going to grow up and then at some point then the, the lower half will come in. We see it also in the fuselage formers there. These are actually done up by multiple pieces. So, so I suppose it will be like building on the, the upper part, building it on top of the plan and then when I take it off the plan to put in then the lower part. So that's, that's I suppose going to be then the, the way forward. There are some instructions here. So I'm going to have to read that also, of course, in more, in more detail. Then the engine nacelles, as with the Mosquito, kind of each nacelle is almost like a fuselage of its own. So again, I'm going to have to see how, how I'll be doing that. And here we have like options for the engines. Um, yeah, maybe that's for the, for the petrol engines, which I, I will not do for sure. And yes, other than that, one can tell the it's kind of the same language that we have with the Mosquito, the same designer, so same kind of approach, which is good. And, uh, and let's see how it goes. So that is the new project. So let me know in the comments if you, if you, want, uh, if you think I should do it as a, as a rubber powered or as, a, or as an RC. 
or maybe even both. I'm also thinking maybe how to have it prepared so that it can be with both. I'm not sure how that could be. Maybe a change in the engines. I'm just thinking out loud now. Um, but let me know in the comments and uh, follow me along on this one. Another challenging project that's going to take me some time. So I suppose the progress won't be so high. I do have other things to do, of course. But uh, I'll try to once in a while to post a new update with, uh, with what's the progress on this one, which is... Uh, I think it's going to keep me busy until Christmas, but we'll see, we'll see, maybe not, maybe I'll be fast. So, anyhow, thank you everybody for watching, thank you for coming back, uh, thank you for all the tips and tricks that you're giving me on the, on the comments, and I'll see you next time.